A shepherd has a really special relationship with his sheep. You see, sheep in and of themselves have a hard time surviving. They really don't have good directional skills. They don't have a means to protect themselves from predators. And when it comes to food, they will eat themselves sick if they're not directed not to do so. Jesus wanted to compare that special relationship that a shepherd has caring for sheep with the relationship that he has with us. I'm going to be reading out of John chapter 10, and Jesus talks about that special relationship. He says, Therefore Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief only comes to steal and destroy and kill. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and he runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he's a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen and I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one can take it from me but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the authority to lay it down and the authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father you see, Jesus lays down his life willingly for his sheep. That is, for you and for me. Jesus wants all of us to be able to follow one voice, the Jews and the Gentile, the slave and the free. And we can follow the shepherd as we come around the table, as we listen to his voice, and as we give thanks to the one who sacrificed his life for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your son Jesus who is the good shepherd, who guides and directs us through this life, but also has laid down his life so that we can be free from the one who seeks to, to steal and kill and destroy, that we can be free from sin because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross for us. Right now, we want to honor you and thank you during this time. We pray all this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen.